Hey everyone, today I thought I'd show you some of my favourite shortcuts that I use in TV Paint. So first off, if you go to Edit and then Shortcuts, it will bring up this window and then you can see all the assigned keys and tools. They've got a really nice search bar on the right so you can find what you're looking for easier with brushes, tools and modes. To make a new shortcut, just find the tool you want in the right hand side click it and then find the letter or whatever you want to assign it to in the left hand side, click it and then hit assign down here. If you're ever accidentally pressing keys like me, you can click any assigned key in the left hand side and hit unassign down below and that will remove the shortcut. Once you're finished, press OK and this will get rid of the window. I use a Wacom Cintiq 13 HD which has buttons and a rocker ring along the left hand side, but I also use the keyboard on my laptop which I've reassigned tools to certain keys. I've kept them all close together so they're in easy reach and this just makes things a lot easier. I usually change it every now and then but if I think a new arrangement is going to speed things up or I swap out a new tool for something else it's very easy to do. So my first key, which I use a lot, is Q, which I've assigned to the tool mode colour, which you can see here. W is a colour picker and E is the tool mode erase. These three keys just make flipping between colours, making marks and then getting rid of them a whole lot easier. The next line down on my keyboard I've assigned A, S and D to previous instance, stroke and then next instance. Beside those F is TV Paint default for fill and G I've assigned to tool option pencil. These are the shortcuts I use most. With A and D I can flick through the animation just seeing the keyframes like this. It's so helpful to do in-betweens with and help get the motion down. S, which is stroke, will just bring me back to my drawing tool after using something else like transform or pan. The third and final row of keys that I use on my keyboard are Z, X and C. Z, which is another TV Paint default setting, will allow me to increase or decrease the size of my brush. X I've assigned to link to the pan tool and C the transform tool which can be accessed up here. I think only Pan is available in the standard version of TV Paint, but I might be wrong. If you want to see a comparison of what each version of TV Paint has, I will leave a link to that PDF down below. Now on my Cintiq I have two buttons, a rocker ring and then two more buttons. I'm always changing things to make it a bit faster, but at the moment my top button allows me to switch between my displays, which I set up in my Wacom driver rather than TV Paint, and the second button down is undo, pretty self-explanatory. The rocker ring, I have the light table at the top, so clicking once will turn it on, clicking again will turn it off. Next, clicking the left and right sides of the rocker ring allows me to move one frame in either direction, and the bottom part of the rocker ring allows me to clear the frame if I want to get rid of everything, or just make a new frame. I then have colour and erase modes for the bottom two buttons, again like my keys Q and E on my keyboard. I tend to use my keyboard a lot more for shortcuts since I can customise it a lot more and have everything I need there. I do think I'll eventually stop using the buttons on my Cintiq completely, simply because my laptop keys are a lot more customisable and easier to have all in one place. I do keep a note of what tools I have assigned to what keys because I am very forgetful. I've literally stuck it just above my desk to remind myself, so making a list of what you've done is very good. It saves you from having to pull up the shortcuts option and flick through every time. I'd say definitely keep a note of what tools you use the most and then assign your keys around that, whether it's your keyboard or a tablet if it's got buttons. So thanks for watching, I hope this video was helpful, I'm working on a couple of other videos at the moment and a short short involving my witch character that will be up soon. If you like what I'm doing, don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you found it helpful and suggest anything you want to see me cover in a future video down below. And I'll be back with another video real soon. Bye.